Hello everyone. Today we are going to see uh, how we can use Python uh, to post a status message in Twitter. So this task is uh, basically like writing your own application uh, to connect to the Twitter API and then requesting the Twitter servers uh, to post your status message. So for the Twitter servers to authorize your request, you need to follow a certain set of rules or methods uh, defined by Twitter. So to get to know about these rules, uh, you can just go to Google and then uh, type uh, authorizing request Twitter. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So the first page. So here you can find uh, beautiful documentation uh, which explains you uh, what you need to do to connect to the Twitter API. Uh, so basically the Twitter uses uh, OAuth uh, based authentication methods for authorizing your request. So you need to uh, specify certain information uh, in the authorization header while connecting to the uh, Twitter API. So this information uh, should be able to tell Twitter like which application is actually uh, uh, trying to connect to the Twitter, uh, which uh, user is actually owning this application and whether uh, this user is uh, has actually granted this application to connect to the Twitter API and finally uh, an information to confirm uh, whether your request has not been modified in transit. So for gathering this information uh, and creating this authorization header, uh, you need to collect certain parameters to build up this header. So if you go through this documentation, you can find about each and every parameter in detail. I mean in detail, sorry. Yeah. Uh, over here, I will try to give an overview about each and every parameter. So the first parameter is uh, called consumer key. So the consumer key is nothing but uh, a parameter that uh, tells the Twitter like which application is trying to connect to the Twitter API. And the next parameter is OAuth token uh, which uh, informs the Twitter like uh, which user is actually owning this application and whether uh, the use, this user has really granted this application uh, the access to connect to the Twitter API. And then the third parameter is uh, OAuth version. So Twitter actually uh, uses 1.0 OAuth based authentication protocols. And the fourth parameter is the timestamp. Uh, I mean the time when your request has actually been created. And then the fifth parameter is called uh, nonce. It's actually a cryptographic parameter which is uh, used to prevent replay attacks. Uh, so basically this parameter helps the Twitter to uh, uh, confirm that the same request has not been, trans uh, not been submitted more than once. And uh, the sixth parameter, I mean the next parameter is related to the signature. Uh, so the signature is actually a critical parameter which uh, helps the Twitter to confirm that your request has not been modified uh, in transit. So for creating this signature, Twitter encourages to use uh, uh, ash based uh, methods as the signature method. So yeah. So now uh, before going to the scripting part, uh, uh, we will first uh, create an application with Twitter. So it's a very uh, simple step. You can just go to Google and uh, type uh, Twitter application management. So you have to go to this uh, link and then create a new app. So you can just write like uh, demo uh, app for Twitter, something like that. And then maybe write something like my, my demo. Uh, for Twitter uh, requests, something like that. Maybe some website, for example, like uh, HTTP uh, uh, test.com, something like this is test website. And of course, I've already created uh, some applications before this, so I know about uh, this developer agreement here. So you want you can just go through this and then click it and then you can just create your application so yeah so now we have created your Twitter application so the most important thing here for you is the keys and the token access so as I told already this is the consumer key which is the parameter need required and the other parameter is the token so first you have to create here, create my access token. So now we have your token. Uh, 
so these two parameters are required in your scripting and then you have two secrets called consumer secret and access token secret which is basically required for creating your signature and be very careful these parameters are extremely sensitive so you shouldn't uh, share with anyone or you it's not a very good idea to hard code these uh, values in the scripting directly so it's better to uh, store these values in a separate file and then just get these values from this file so anyhow I will just uh, regenerate my access uh, stuff later so that this will be different yeah fine so ah sorry you also you have to give the permission for your application like it can access the read write and access the messages is very important things so just go and update the settings that's it yeah so I will just close it uh, now we will uh, move to the actual scripting part um, yeah so I have a file here config uh, file so here I have stored all my tokens and secrets so I don't want to hard code them in my scripting directly so now we will proceed to the scripting so uh, I don't want to write everything in the main part so I will just start with the traditional Python main function uh, maybe we can write like something like Twitter post fine so I'll write uh, this function here to the post so first we have to start with the URL of the API to which we want to connect so this information you can find in this website so I think if you go to the signature there they have given this URL correctly so yeah so this is the actual URL so then the URL parameters uh, actually here uh, in this task you are just trying to post a message to the uh, Twitter you are not retrieving any information so, like any entities like uh, the picture or statuses or something like they are just posting so you can just leave the URL parameters empty or you can just uh, do something like uh, um include entities uh, so you're not going to include any entities here for sure so you can just write it as false so this is so just for the sake of writing a new parameter i'm writing this and then your actual status message uh, so your status uh, so something like uh, hi uh, how are you doing so simple and then uh, we have to start building up the parameters for uh, creating the authorization header so I will uh, name this uh, all my parameters beginning with OAuth so OAuth parameters and so initially this parameters will be empty so empty so actually this parameter should be a dictionary uh, in terms of key and values so the first uh, parameter is uh, the consumer key so I write like OAuth consumer key is equal to config. Oops, uh, I have to import my config file here. Import config. Uh, so config dot uh, my parameter name is uh, my consumer key. So in this file, I have stored my consumer key using this variable so I'm just importing this uh, so the next one parameter is the OAuth token uh, so same like I, have, I need to import it OAuth, my OAuth token I hope I'm writing the right name and the next uh, parameter is OAuth version as I told already today uses uh, OAuth 1.0 protocol so you can just hard code it 1.0 and then the next parameter is what timestamp uh, so 
you can just use uh, Python's time function for this. So you have to first import the time package here, and then you can just write like uh, time dot time. Maybe it should be a string. Okay, and then the next parameter is OAuth nonce. Um, okay, so this is actually a little bit tricky part. So maybe first we go to the documentation. So if you see this nonce, so actually the Twitter uh, says like the nonce uh, should be uh, random data and it should be 32 bytes. Moreover, this should be uh, base64 encoded uh, 32 bytes of random data. Okay, so we need to uh, understand what is base64 encoding before this. So uh, I'm not going to explain uh, base64 encoding in detail, uh, but I've provided a link uh, in this video. So basically, I mean, uh, may maybe you can go through this link. Uh, you can really understand base64 encoding very well. So I'll just try to give uh, the core idea behind base64 encoding. So uh, yeah, so before that, I'll just go to the scripting part again. So I will just write a separate function uh, for creating this nonce. Maybe create nonce. Yep. Maybe it's uh, better, I think. So I'll just write create nonce in a separate area. Define create nonce. So first I will uh, try to uh, give a simple logic behind base64 encoding. Actually, the base64 encoding uh, works like this. It takes every three bytes of input binary data and then produces uh, a four byte uh, output ASCII character. Uh, that is for every three bytes of input, it produces four bytes of output. So here we, uh, for this nouns, we need 32 bytes of output data. So we need to provide a 24 byte uh, input uh, data for creating this nouns. So first uh, I will use this parameter called nouns as an empty parameter. And then I will do an iteration. Uh, I mean, I will do 24 iterations. For every iteration, I will create uh, one random uh, uh, character of one byte. So I first input uh, this package called random. So then here I will do like uh, random dot randint zero to nine. So my random data will be in range of zero to nine. And of course uh, it should be one byte. So I have to convert them into a string. And then finally I have to uh, append all the uh, created uh, characters in a list append because the nuns is a list and then finally I have to join all these uh, characters in the list into a single uh, string so I have to join this nuns uh, using this uh, syntax so yeah so this tells like we are not going to use any special characters to join this uh, uh, elements in this list of course now I'm going I need to uh, base 64 encode of this input data so we have generated the input data now we, we have to base 64 encode this input data so for this Python has a package called base 64 so you can use this directly so now you have to use base 64 uh, dot b 64 encode and then you can return this directly. So now we have a basis to encode uh, output data, and this output data will definitely be 32 bytes. Fine. Uh, maybe you can also like print and check whether you get 32 bytes as uh, output. So now the nouns part is over. Sorry, the nouns part is over, and then you have to create the next parameter, which is nothing but OAuth signature method so if you go to this uh, sorry if you go to this uh, website you can see like uh, the OAuth uh, signature method so tutor encourages to use ash based uh, method which is uh, SHA1 so you can just hard code it directly 
here so it's equal to uh, h mat sha1 directly fine so now i have built up all the parameters other than the signature so first what i do is before creating the signature i will just try to uh, uh, put all these parameters i mean all these parameters inside the uh, uh, dictionary OAuth parameters because uh, we need all these parameters for generating the signature also so first I will uh, put all of them in this dictionary OAuth parameters dot uh, update so first one is uh, OAuth consumer key i mean uh, you really need to uh, for i mean for the we have the values here but for the keys you have to go to the website and check the keys here so we have the keys or consumer key so of course I'm, i've used the same names as here so we can just copy it uh, just like that fine so first we have uh, consumer key uh, which is nothing but consumer key and this parameter is what token you don't need uh, to worry about the order because anyhow we will sort it later sorry oops third one uh, version Or the timestamp token version timestamp and fine nuts. And then you get or signature method. Fine. Oops, uh, I think I uh, missed the double underscore here. So the next step uh, would be like. Uh, to create the signature which is really a tricky part so before creating the signature we really need to retrieve our secret values that is the consumer secret and the token secret so first I will receive I mean retrieve my consumer secret <coughs> sorry my consumer secret and the next one would be like uh, what token secret is equal to config my token secret so now we have to create a signature so before that I will go to the documentation so if you see the uh, documentation you need a uh, you need uh, I mean for the first step you need to collect the parameters so if you look here you need all the parameters uh, that you use to create the OAuth parameter and apart from that you also need the status and also like uh, the key uh, sorry yeah the status and also I think you might need uh, the URL information here so you have to pass everything uh, for creating the signature so what I will do is I will create a separate function for creating this signature create OAuth signature I'm not going to use any specific uh, uh, notation or convention for functions or function variables uh, first, so first you need all the OAuth parameters yeah and then you need URL and then you might need URL parameters as well and then the status variable 
and finally your consumer secret and the token secret. So I will use the same uh, variable names for this function definition as well. So use function. So first we need uh, our HTTP method. Since you are actually requesting the Twitter API to post uh, your status, the HTTP method uh, would be post. Fine. And then uh, you need the signature parameters. So if you go to the website, uh, you can see uh, the signature parameter. So for signature, for creating the signature parameter, you have to collect certain parameters. So the first uh, thing is the OAuth parameters, and then the other parameters like the URL parameters, if there is any, and also the status. So you have to basically append the URL parameters and the status to the OAuth parameter. So what I'm going to do is I will create a shallow copy of this OAuth parameter and then append uh, the URL parameters and the status to this uh, uh, signature parameters. So I think that's the uh, best uh, way. So maybe I will try to do a separate function for this. I mean, I'm, I'm going to store uh, the result in the same variable. So collect signature parameters. Status. So I will write a separate function here for this. So the first one is we have to check whether status is not null or not. So if status is not null, definitely we have some status to post. I mean to post. So we will append uh, this to the signature parameter. Using the same variable name. Status. And now, uh, if we have any URL parameters, the UR, I mean, we may have uh, uh, one URL parameter or two URL parameter, or we may not have uh, any URL parameter at all. So, whatever the case, we have to append all the URL parameters to the this uh, signature parameter. So, what we are going to do is uh, we will just do the typical method for retrieving uh, keys and values in a dictionary. URL underscore parameters dot items. So signature parameter B, uh, is equal to B. So is equal to B. Fine. And now what we are going to do is we have to return the signature parameter. So now we have collected all the parameters in this uh, dictionary for the signature. So the next step would be like to create a single string out of all these uh, parameters. So for this step, I would write a variable parameter string or maybe it's too long. So maybe like create a signature param string. So I'll write a separate function create signature param string and pass this dictionary as an input next step would be like so for the first step in this uh, function is like we need to sort all the parameters inside the uh, dictionary uh, alphabetically so I will use uh, this library from Python collections for this purpose so I will write I mean I will sort it in the first step collections we can use this functions of this library or the, the dict sorted 
and then click sort the items in this dictionary. So now the next step would be like to create the actual uh, signature parameter string. So I will first initialize this to an empty string. So if you go to this website, you can find the steps uh, required to uh, create this string. So after sorting uh, these parameters alphabetically, we then need to uh, do these steps. That is, we have to append uh, every encoded key and the encoded value uh, with the uh, equal to sign. And if there is more than one key value, then we have to append an ampersand in every key value pass. But what is this encoded uh, key and encoded value? So we have to actually percent encode every key and value in this pa parameters. So percent encode is actually a typical uh, encoding mechanism for encoding the URL values. So in our program, what I will do is I will write a separate function for this percent encode because we might need in several steps later. So for this purpose, we can use uh, Python's, uh, sorry, Python's URL library. So this uh, library has a beautiful function called quote. So we have to pass our input string and then one more variable called save so I mean uh, there are certain unreserved uh, keywords in every URL so we have to pass uh, any un any of these unreserved keyword so that this keyword uh, will not be uh, encoded in uh, even if they present in the string so maybe like underscore or any of the underserved keyword so we will return this so now what we will do is we have this parameter string so I will uh, do this as mentioned this website so first maybe I will do a count uh, zero and then length of the signature parameter so how many key value paths are there and then what I will do is for every key value I will append the encoded key and values to the output string so I will encode this one person encode key and then append with the equal to symbol and then percent encode with the value Not, uh, I mean just to find whether there are more than one key values uh, of course there are So if there are more, more than one key value pass, then we have to append an ambassador symbol between every key value pass. So I will finally return my parameter string. So now I got my parameter string so the next step would be uh, we can go to the website and check what is the next step so after creating the parameter string then the next step is like we have to create the signature uh, base string so for creating this uh, signature base string what we need to do is we have to convert our HTTP method to the uppercase and then upon the uh, Amazon symbol with the with, uh, URL that is the person encoded URL and then we have to append one more Amazon symbol and then finally we have to append with the person encoded uh, parameter string that we created just now so we are going to encode this parameter string one more time so the next step would be like uh, signature base string so what we can do is signature base string is equal to we have the HTTP method the post method but we have to use uppercase here 
so then ampersand symbol percent encode the URL and then ampersand sim sorry ampersand symbol one more time and then percent encode our signature based string parameter sorry signature parameter string so now we have everything ready okay so this step is over so the next step we have to check so it is just we have to create a signing key so for creating this signing key we need our secret values the consumer secret and the OAuth token secret so if you check the website the signing key is the person encoded consumer secret followed by the ambassador symbol and then the token secret fine so if you check we have to create the signing key which is nothing but the percent encode consumer secret for by Amberson symbol followed by oops sorry by percent encode token secret so the next would be like we are calculating the actual signature finally we have arrived at our step so if you check the actual signature is created by passing the signing key and the signature base string to the HMAC uh, hashing algorithm so for Python uh, for HMAC algorithm uh, we have an implementation already using um, HMAC library so what we can do is uh, we can create a signature here so directly so signature is equal to HMAC dot new so uh, I mean maybe I will just show you that sample in the website so Python HMAC okay so if you see for the HMAC we have to pass a key uh, message which is nothing but a string and then the digest uh, method so the digest uh, method here is the SHA1 algorithm which is which Twitter has mentioned in the website so the first one will be the key which is nothing but our signing key and the second one will be like uh, our signature base string and the third one will be the digest mode which is nothing but the, the method hashing method here we will use uh, SHA1 as mentioned here so Python already has an implementation of SHA1 as well so we can import that uh, using this uh, uh, ash lib uh, library so now if you go down you can use ash lib dot uh, s h a one fine and then we have to uh, if you see what they mentioned is we have to pass this to the SHA and then output should be a base 64 encoded output fine so what we need to do is we have to extract the digest value which is nothing but the ash value of the signature and then do a base 64 encoding on that so it's just like base 64 encoding just like how we did earlier encode of this digest value So now finally we got the signature perfect so now what we will do is we will append this uh, signature into our uh, OAuth parameter here so we can just do how we did earlier OAuth parameters 
dot update uh, just like uh, what signature is equal to what signature perfect so we create all the parameters required to create the authorization header so now what we need to do is if you go to this website into the, our the first page we have to build the header string actually so i mean basically the authorization string so just like how we build this uh, signature parameter string we have to build this uh, uh, string for authorization so i mean i think the method would be like more or less similar so first we have uh, the header string with the value oauth and then for every key value pair we have to uh, encode the person encode the key uh, in and then append them with an equal to symbol and then with a double quote and then the value and once again a double quote and if there is more than one key value pair then we have to append a comma and a space okay so this is uh, more or less like the earlier method so what we I will do is I will create this authorization header string session string maybe so create auth string uh, I will pass the dictionary auth parameters So I will write a separate function for this. So first I need to sort just like before or parameters is equal to collections dot sorry dot sorted. Oops, I think ordered it. Sorry. Order dict sorted and then I have to pass the OAuth parameters dot items and then I have to get auth string so it's initially it should be like OAuth I think it should be like this way and then a space as mentioned the website and then typical method like before so and then for key values and for parameters dot items sorry uh, string is equal to uh, string plus percent encode my key and then with an equal to symbol and then with the double quote double quote and then encode my value and then with the double quote maybe i will check once the website whether it's a double quote or not Yes, it's a double quote. So I have to check if there is more than one key value pair. And if so, then I have to append a comma and a space. I think it must be a space. Yes. Sorry. Okay. I think it should be an empty space. Perfect. Okay. Then counter class one. So finally, I will return my authorization header string so I got my authorization header string 
and finally now I have to do the actual thing which is nothing but Python post request so if you see the Python post request we have uh, around uh, four to five parameters I guess so we can say like this but I think we have to import a library for posting uh, a message uh, to an API using Python which is request so after importing this thing what I will do is uh, let's tell you like what are the parameters that are needed for doing this request so request dot post function and then the first parameters will be the URL so we already have the URL and second parameter second parameter will be like the actual URL parameters URL parameters so we have URL parameters and third one will be the headers so and the fourth one will be the data that we are going to post so for headers so far we have the authorization header that is the authorization string but we need several other uh, headers uh, as well so we will create the header string yeah. so we can just copy paste this directly from the website if you go there you have to do in the same order that is given in the website so uh, this one so you can just uh, do like uh, how they have did so the first parameter is accept so it's actually a dictionary again so I will do in this way Maybe like this I think uh, okay So yeah, it's a tedious process, but we have to do this. I think the second will be like connection and close. Maybe I'll copy paste it directly. And then I will just include the comma. Yeah. And then Third one is the user agent. Okay. Oops, I did the same mistake again. Okay. Next one, I think it must be the content type. Yeah. And the next one is actually the authorization so we already built the authorization so we can just copy it as it is which is our authorization string and then I think the content length and uh, the host oops I didn't copy properly maybe I'll type it Content length. I think it should be an iPhone length. So I think you can give what you want. I will just give as 100. Uh, and then the last one is I think it should be host, which is I think it should be API dot something. Yeah, API dot dot com. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll put a comma here. No, it's not a problem. Right. Perfect. So we have built the header string now. So what we can do is we can just put like uh, uh, headers maybe. Uh, 
and then uh, finally the data which is nothing but uh, the status so since we are passing everything as a dictionary we will pass the status also as a dictionary so maybe we can include one more variable called uh, payload I don't know why I include a comma here okay fine payload uh, maybe like uh, status status fine so we can include this payload in our data so here we are we are almost done so what now we want to do is we actually try to post and we have to check whether our post is going fine so status so i'm not sure whether i will get uh, any errors or not but i will just give a try so we did everything so we passed all the parameters uh, and then we also created the signature and after creating this signature we created our authorization um, string and after that we have also created our header string directly from the website so it should work let's see okay so my python twitter I think it should be Twitter. Twitter, okay. Twitter dot py. Oops, I think I got some error. Model object as no, no, my token secret. My token secret, I think, I'm not sure. I think it should be my OAuth token secret. Okay. Oops, I get more errors. Signature is not defined in correct signed params. Mm, collect sign. Oops, I think I have some indentation error here. Okay, I don't know why I did like this. So to correct them, okay, so coming back to the error, collect signed params, there is no signature, ah, okay, this is the problem. Okay, so length is not defined in create auth string. Create all this. Oh, I think all those very small, small errors. Uh, I'm always uh, bad in writing the length rightly. Okay. This should work. Ah, oh, fine. We got 200 code response. Perfect. So what I will do is I will check my Twitter account. So it's logged in already. So so there we are. How status? Hi. How are you doing? Perfect. So that's it. We um, got our status posted exactly as we expected and uh, I think it's fine. So I will just try to change the status and do one more time. I, I have succeeded in posting a status. So maybe I will write like this and forget the Twitter response 200, so it should be fine. I will try to include one more time. Yes, perfect. So, I think uh, everything went well. So, I hope you guys uh, really understood uh, 
uh, my explanation and if you think I might have went a little bit low in my voice I'm sorry for that because I immediately felt some kind of infection in my throat sorry for that but I think um, anyhow I believe I have explained uh, uh, in a pretty decent way hope you guys understood and hope you guys liked the video and thanks for watching it and I hope you like it bye